New video from Turkey shows the impact of the earthquake miles beyond the epicenter. Drone video shows an olive grove that's been turned into a canyon. Flat fields ripped open from the force of the earthquake. The earthquake's destruction has killed more than 40,000 people in Turkey and Syria. Incredibly, survivors continue to be pulled from the rubble. Nine days later, millions of people are in dire need of help. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports Nassau County, with its large Turkish American population, is spearheading a fundraising effort. We've gathered here today with heavy hearts. Nassau County's Turkish American community, the second largest in the nation behind New Jersey's in grief over staggering losses. No one unscathed, Selma Salazar's sister, brother-in-law, and two beloved nephews perished. We are truly hurting. Although we lost our family members, we understand that there are still people that are waiting to be rescued and we are broken. The Fyrick family of four of Queens was visiting relatives in Turkey when their building collapsed. As dozens gathered in Nassau asking all to participate in humanitarian aid, surviving relatives in Turkey spoke via a translator. They are continuously in dire need of working operators and machinery to help people who are still stuck underneath the rubble. We wish that we can take all those people that are homeless and, you know, take them into our, our own homes. The best way to honor those lost, say survivors, is to help those in need. Nassau County is sharing a list of vetted agencies for monetary donations. Every dollar will help in the urgent rescue effort and years of rebuilding, says reality TV restaurateur Zach Erdem. A large size coffee and a small sandwich, like tips and all 20 bucks. So all I'm asking, just one day skip in your life and donate that the people who lost everything. Along with much needed prayers, consulates are collecting specific items such as tents and blankets. But for the most immediate impact. But as Americans, probably the best thing we can do is make a monetary contribution. This saddened community heartened to see nations working together. Israel sent like the 250 people, Greeks government, they sent like the almost 150. All of a sudden, they united, they became partnered together, they help each other. It's making me like the, I feel good. Nearly 1,000 tons of relief materials have been collected in the U.S. Those leading the effort request the same outpouring of monetary help. On Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.